welcome to Women's Birth and Wellness Center. Come on in, I'd like to show you our, our reception area here. This is where you'll come in and when folks come in to have their visits and everything. And we have our lovely front desk staff here that meet and greet everybody. And they're a very important part of our community of birthing women here. It is so important to me to have this type of care be available to anyone who wants it. It may not be for everybody, but we need to safeguard, we need to be the guardians of this type of midwifery care and honoring physiological birth. And I think that's what birth centers are. They're safe havens for that kind of birth. And this is one of our rooms for our GYN care because we see lots of folks here for our yearly physicals and menopause care. We have three different rooms here. Every room is pretty much set up the same. Very solid birthing bed, because sometimes there might be three people on it or four people. Every room has a birth tub. This is pretty much our birth center, kind of the hub of the life here and a perfect place to have your baby. Anyone who really wants to come here can come here and we make it work for them. You want to help listen? Hmm? It's more than just a, a place where you go to have a baby. It's a community um, feeling here where women can come and get all the support that they need um, to be empowered to make good choices for themselves and their families. Whoa. You know who that is? That's your competition. Yeah had the most amazing birth here. I mean, effortless, ease, beauty. It was just everything I could imagine. Ooh, competition. Oh. This is Charleston Birthplace. When the patients arrive, they come in, they check in here. Here um, is the chase lounge room. It's more of a comfy room. They watch videos. There's lots of patient education. Okay. This is the birthing side. Um, this is where mamas come once they're in labor. We have two birth suites. This is the palmetto suite here. Mamas have the option of birthing on the bed um, or in the tub because we're a water birth facility. It's a nice little quaint place, comfortable, safe environment to have your baby. We've delivered 1,500 babies for the last seven years, so we average about 30 births a month. Most of our mothers are what we would consider low risk pregnancy to planned a birth at the birth center. Because our particular practice also offers planned hospital births, we do uh, co-manage with our physicians some higher risk. We do uh, some twins, mothers have had previous cesarean births, or maybe have some um, mild hypertension that would not exclude a midwife at their birth, but needs to be in the hospital. Okay, so this is your very first pregnancy. Have you had any complications or any problems so far? We start seeing the mom, hopefully as soon as she gets pregnant or even when she's in the planning stages of pregnancy. And then just lean back onto this pillow here and I'll pull some support out for you. We provide prenatal care. We provide labor and birth here at the birth center. We also um, offer planned hospital births for mothers that need or want a hospital birth. We provide postpartum care, breastfeeding support, and we also provide well woman care. We get student nurse midwives from um, various institutions, but Frontier is definitely one of our favorites. Frontier, their model for midwifery is community-based midwifery care. And so it fits very well with the birth center model. These girls have a special interest in birth center birth, and that's why they attend Frontier University. So nurse midwives and nurse practitioners are 
uh, registered nurses who, be, who go on to obtain uh, graduate level education. So they're highly um, trained and skilled at, at managing um, and providing patient care. So the training at Frontier consists of didactic courses for the first couple terms and then clinical courses. Um, in the clinical realm I did a couple months of in a residency or internship at the hospital and then I came here for another couple months. Um, they encourage us to get just experience in both the hospital and birth center and home birth if you can get that too. Let's warm up our hands, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warm up our hands. There's a movement in the United States away from hospitals and into the homes, but there's a special part of the populations that are just not quite ready to do home births, but yet don't want that hospital intervention birth, and that's where birth center fits in. So above the belly button basically means that the baby's head is most likely down. Women can expect uh, a care that's personal, a care that's not rushed, that's not a 15-minute packed visit, but that sometimes takes up to an hour of just getting to know you as a woman and where you're coming from and what your needs are. So a more personal care, a more loving care. So, so do you want to check yeah. and see what I mean? Yeah. So what am I checking for here? <laughs> so if you go over here and you very lightly go like this and kind of open and go like this. Mm -hmm. okay. See? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Yeah. Now, if you go across, mm -hmm. down, you will feel. I have never stomach. felt in better hands, and so you know, it's we're coming back for a <laughs> second round, mm -hmm. um, which I think is a testament to how wonderful our birth experience was. So, mm -hmm. there you, go. you feel? It? Mm -hmm. You know, with our first boy, with Benjamin, um, I felt like I was a partner uh, during this whole t entire process, and. Um, they recognized me, they knew me by name, and, um, and I, I loved having that role. It was great to be a dad. It was a great introduction to being a father. I would say it is the best job in the whole wide world. That's the first thing I would say. I feel phenomenally blessed every day to get to be a part of families becoming. Do you want to see your tummy again? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. It's wonderful. It's, it's a privilege. And if, if someone understands that privilege, then they should definitely go into the profession. But it's um, definitely such an honor to be able to be with someone as they become a family. That is like a cross-section through the baby's skull. Frontier is the birth of Nurse Midwifery in the United States. It's where Mary Brackenridge and public health really started for, for nursing. So if you have a public health, a community service heart, a heart where you want to be a nurse midwife that makes a difference, not only in the United States, but international, Frontier is your home. <laughs>